done. I'm done. I can't continue. I can't plan your wedding. I'm 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 stressed. I'm mentally stressed. I I I, I can't keep trying to fix things and everything just Dora. goes crazy. I'm going to I can't. I need to just drop it. My mental health. I'm I'm losing my mind every day. I have migraines. I... Hey hey. <sighs> Your body is burning. Do you have do you have um, like a first aid kit in your house? Let me get you water. Relax, Dora. come back home and act as if nothing happened. Take your call, Greg. I'm so sorry to call you by this time of the night. It's just that I want to check up on my husband. Dr. Greg, he's not, he's not home yet. And he's not even taking up his call. Please, is he with you? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is the Congrat concert? Oh, okay. Hope it's not what I'm thinking, Greg. Hope it's not what I'm thinking. Getting too comfortable. Please, you need to go. Okay. But you need to take a lot of water so you stay hydrated. Thank you. And eat. Adora! 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 Dora! Yes? Uh -uh. Calm down. What's the problem? You idiot. Uh -uh. How dare you? How shameless can you be? Michael, what's the problem? So you now bring me into the same house that we share. Michael, come on. I, 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 what are you accusing me of? Did they sleep with you? What? Yes. No! What is 
is wrong with you? He, he came. He, he was just check, checking on me. I, he was just being caring. I, I, and I slept off. I, I passed out. Will you shut up and stop sending me that bullshit lie? You think I don't see through you? You pass out my, my, my foot. Can you stop spewing and saying all this? Um, you, 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 you portray this pretentious attitude of a good girl that, that you're not. I see through you and I know you very well. So you just stop doing that bullshit whenever you're around me. And now you listen. It isn't the first or last time I will see him in this house or anywhere around you. If it happens again, I swear I'll skin your life. And you won't be left out. Shameless. You don't bring men into my own house or into the house I will share. You have that system. Make us any talk to the house. You can sell that light to other people that you sell it to and you think I've come, I'm gonna buy it. I can buy it. Nonsense. He's healthy, he's alive. Guess what? He's getting married. Greg is getting married. This is unbelievable. Men will stain your years, wife. All these years I just waited for answers. I waited for this guy and then now I have my answers. What did I do wrong? No, please tell me, where did I do, what did I do wrong? We talked about getting married. We talked about our future. We spoke about the future. And then he did this to me, why? I don't write, it's fine, just calm down. I just want answers. That's all, I need answers. Why did he do what he did to me? Why? I, I need my answers and I will get my answers. It's, it's fine, Adora. You honestly think I'm very stupid, right? Greg, what, what is going on between you and the wedding planner? And do not give me that squawk and boost story of you being on a date together. Because me, it's a life on the pit of hell. But that's the truth. What do you want me to say? I met her at an event. That's all. You're lying through your teeth, Greg. I don't believe you. The shock on your face when you saw her. And the way both of you look at each other as if you've seen a ghost. You no. won't tell me there is nothing going on between you two. I'm not going to do this with you. I, honestly, I'm not going to do Greg, this Greg, I'm still you. talking to you. You are not talking. You are nagging. And I can't, you know, I don't like people Greg. like me. I don't like it. Greg, I'm talking to you! I had to find a reason to come see you. I, I, I told her. Why? Just give me answers. Why did you abandon me? No calls, no text. You just left. I called you. You did? Yes. Really? I tried calling you several times. Of course. You just never went through. How convenient. I don't know, I'm serious. I even searched for you on social media. Mm. I sent you messages. No response. None. Even when I got back, I went straight to your house.
it. Oh my God. In a car crash. I was in that car. But God saved my life. But that house held too many memories and I couldn't bear the pain, so I left. I didn't know this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all in the past now. I never forgot about you. Not for once. All those years in America, I just kept thinking, what could have happened to you? Why didn't I hear from you? What was wrong? And then, when I went to your house when I was leaving, said something to me that I almost lost my mind. You died trying to abort our child. What? Wait, what? I'm like, why? At some point I was mad. Why would you try to do that? What? Why would you abort our child? That's nonsense. Why would I abort our child, my child? lied to you and I honestly don't know why she would do that. That child was the one thing that kept me going in your absence. It was the only memory I had of you. Why would I kill my own child? I lost that child in the accident. It's all in the past. You're getting married now. And it's my duty to plan your wedding. Where are you coming from? And why haven't you been taking my calls? Because my phone was not with me. Philly, you don't see my calls. My phone wasn't with me now. Greg, who have you been with? You're cheating on me, right? Oh my lord, I am exhausted. I need to rest, please. Let's not do this now. Huh? Really? Yeah. You're going away, Greg. I'm talking to you. Look, there's a lot on my mind. Please come on, Lord, please. Don't nag me now, please. I need an explanation to everything. Everything! Like where you're coming from right now, and who you've been with. I don't like it when you nag. It frustrates me. Please. I'm nagging. Greg just called me in. No problem. It's alright. It's fine. It's fine. What about the one you asked for? I don't have any money. I'm, I'm still trying to gather the funds for the rent. So I'm sorry, I, I don't have any extra cash. Oh, my God! I can't see you need to talk again before you can close my phones. What's this happening to you? Michael, please, okay. Please, right again. No problem. You understand? Yes, Michael, you are too. You're giving me the money at the end of today. No problem.
Alex. Alex, this is not a coincidence. No, because how do you explain Dora becoming a wedding planner from nowhere? The universe is clearly telling me something. Mm -mm. The universe is not telling you anything. See, you better wake up from this your dream and face reality. No, 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 Baba, look at it. See, I get the best wedding planner. The best. Mm -hmm. Or maybe one of the best. Look at this scene. Annabelle says, no, I don't like her for one reason or the other. Very flimsy excuses. And next thing, okay, who do you want? Dora comes to my house, to my doorstep. Check it now. See, that is the more reason. That even goes to prove that Dora is not for you. Yes, Dora is not for you. This okay. is someone I've been looking for for, for for how long? I've been searching for her. See, if Dora was for you, where you were searching everywhere for her? Why did you not see her? Why is it now that you're about to get married that she, she just shows up? No, 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 no. See, me and Dora were so in love. We're already planning our future together. See, Greg, 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 you better wake up. See, just wake up from this, your fantasy, I'll be dream, or what, what should I even call it? What matters is you're getting married very soon. Your wedding is around the corner. The only thing you should be talking about now is your wedding. Do you understand? She hasn't changed, man. The colors are nice. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah. You are very good with what you do. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I want this wedding to be the best. I'll do my best. Okay. I know you would. <laughs> you know, every girl's dream is to have that perfect wedding with the love of their life. I right? Know. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I never believed this day would come. When I first met Greg, I didn't like him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and um, he was a very sad, grumpy man. Like one who just got up from a heartbreak. He only kept to himself and talked when necessary. I don't believe this would, would work. But here we are, hmm. about to be man and wife. <laughs> and I'm so excited and lucky to call him mine. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'll leave you to do your job. Yes, I'll be on my way now. Well done. Thank you so much. Bye. I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the You're hospitality. Welcome. All right, ma'am. Bye. Dora, hey. Hi. Oh, I didn't know you came here. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, well, you're leaving already? Obviously. <laughs> okay, let me walk you to your car then. My car is unavailable today. Oh, okay. Let me drop you off then. No, don't worry. It's, it's fine. My, I'm I trying to get drop away. You. Let me drop you. Thank you so much. What happened to your hand? Nothing. Nothing. It's just a minor domestic accident. Oh, 
so I guess be careful. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm your wedding planner. And nothing is going to happen between us. Just so we're clear. Thank you for the ride. suffering I'm just doing my job. Yeah I know you can always quit if you don't want these people around. I'm a professional. I won't just quit. I know what I'm doing. I know you are. But having him around will only reopen old wounds. I'm doing just fine. Okay so how do you breathe around him? I breathe just fine. Already, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sixty. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> yeah. Babe, how are you doing? I'm alright. Um, I already have seven people on my guest list. Mm. So how many are you expecting? Yeah. Are you even listening to me? Hmm? Ah, great. What did you say? Eh? I need your help. I can't do this alone. Yeah, you were saying your what? I have 70 people on my guest list. How many are you expecting? Just my parents and my siblings. <laughs> you can't be serious. So what about your your friends, relative, your colleague, everybody? Are they not coming? I mean, everyone has been anticipating this wedding. Just look at my, my guest list. Seven. So excited. Oh, you're saying I really care about this wedding. What did you say? I said I'll follow your lead. Whatever you decide, I'll do. He's just a, a client. He's a client. Will you shut up? You liar. No lying. He's a, he's a client. I'm planning his wedding. And he's... you you expect me to buy that lie? This is what you do all the time. You probably sleep with different men. And you come and you give me the excuses of, of wedding planning and all of that bullshit. Why do you just always think of the worst thing about me? And why won't I think of the worst things about you? 
Okay, explain it to me. So what does this picture have to do with your wedding planning? With the way you are staring at him lustfully. Explain it. You've slept with him, right? The same way you've slept with different men. All in the name of wedding planning. What is wrong with you? I can't walk. I... How dare you? Should you please? Thank you, please. Okay, so Thank you, please, you please. I need you while you talk and food you talk. You talk about the Masui and I project. I'm sorry, I please. I'm sorry, give you. You make me look so stupid. How did I go wrong? Annabelle, it's not like that. I was just stressed out in this And see, look. This is important. I need to take this. What in our conversation? Just give me a second. Greg! I'll come. What's going on over there? Dora, are you crying? Calm down, talk to me. What's wrong? Okay, we can talk about this, all right? You know what? I'm on my way to you, just calm down. I'll be with you. What's going on? Something urgent just came up. I need to. Why in such a hurry? Look, Greg, what is going on? It's an emergency. I need to go. I need to go for real. And you can't even finish before you, pick you go. This up. You pick this up when I come back. What a beautiful way of apologizing to your wife. So come into my house right now. For how long will I run from my own house that I pay for? What are you talking about? This man... Oh, you want him to kill you first. Is that what you want? He will never change. This relationship is abusive. Michael will never change. Leaving my house is not the solution. Then leave him alone. Yes, leave him alone. But you know it's not that easy. You sound like it's that easy. I owe this guy. You know this thing now, you know this gist. If not for Michael's presence at that scene, I would have died. He gave me his blood. His it blood run. run in my... Okay, continue. I've heard that a million and one times. I mean, that's enough reason. I can't just leave him. I owe him my you life. You owe him nothing. You don't owe him anything. What do you owe him? What? My life. You don't owe him your life. You've done everything for him. You fed him. You gave him a roof over his head. What more do you want? What else do you want to do for him? You know, I... I blame Emeka. Honestly, I blame her. Because if Greg had found me a little sooner, maybe things would have been different. Like I told him I was dead. Okay, in order to regain your legs, I feel like I don't think you can leave this man around. If you don't do something, I will do. In fact, I'm going to do it myself. You have to do something about him. Right. I know last minute is a problem, please. 
She goes, oh, I don't understand my husband anymore. Since this wedding plan started, Craig has changed. I can't even wrap my hand around what the problem is. You know how these men are. I need to seek you now. What exactly is going on? Please be. He returns when you do it. Always absent in your mind. We can no longer have our usual discussions anymore because he's always lost in thought. Adora, I think my husband is seeing another woman, and that's why I need it to be very fast. I'm sorry to hear this. I, well, I'm surprised. I think Greg is kind. He's gentle. How do you know he's kind? I'm gentle. No, no, no. I mean, I. I'm saying you should give him some time. You know, maybe he would. Just give him some time to show you his kindness. He seems kind. You know what, let's just focus on the wedding. I have come up with a few ideas for your bridal shower. Greg, what is happening? You've not been talking to your girlfriend. I've been busy now. This is what you've been saying for a while. See, these guys need to get their suit ready. They've been asking what color to go for. Mm, mm, mm. I'll respond. I'll respond. What, what is happening, Greg? You act like you're not even concerned about this. It's your wedding, bro. You don't have to allow her to do everything. Together and everything, I'm just thinking about old times. Come off it, bro. Come off it. See, you're a married man. I, I mean, I, because you never do traditional marriage. She was also stupid for them together, man. That was their fight. Bro, at this point, it doesn't really matter. She's already living with you. The groomsmen are ready. Her bridal train is ready. Just go ahead and pick the color for the suit. I'm happy deciding with the wedding plan, Asha. Who? Dora. The wedding planner now. Just make sure it's strictly business. I hear you. She's my wedding planner, so keep it. Make sure it's strictly business. Please re reply them on that group chat, please. I'll reply now. I got your own two months. Just so okay. reply now. Just send the message to the group now. had happened to my friend, eh? Even though she's an orphan, you would have known that she has a sister. Shameless thing. Blood would have flown to... I'm talking to you. You're not even feeling remorseful for what you did. Useless, man. You're very useless. Parasites! You're a very big, fat, round parasite. That is who you are. Nonsense. Hmm? You don't have respect at all. You come into my house... You're and what? Have... You're what? Your house. Ooh, your house. Adora's house. It is Adora's house, it's not your house. See him swelling up. Oh, yeah, beat me now. Beat me. It is Adora's house. You say it. You say it. You try them again. You wanted to do what? You wanted to punch me. Punch me. Punch me. Punch me. See him swelling up. Like expired pap. Beat me. Punch me. Try it. Useless things, quarter. You still have mouth to talk. 
you're drinking somebody's uh, 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 alcohol. You can't even buy, you can't even afford anything. Nothing you can afford. If you try me, eh, somebody will die here between both of us. And it is you that will go to the mortuary. Let's bet. Nonsense. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. Try this with me. You are lucky I'm not Adora. I would have pierced the little that thing. I would drag it out and bring everything out. Hold it for me. Nonsense. See, it's not by height, though. It's not by height. I will. See, because you are taller than me. Blood is low here now. You will know it's not by height. Nonsense. You are lucky I'm not Adora. You are very lucky I'm not Adora. No, come on. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it. Think about it for a second. It's okay, sorry. Easy. easy. That's not so funny. Uh, there's, there's something uh, she was talking about. It's all this wedding details and yeah, stuff like that. Really? <laughs> yes, so I've come up with a template. I like this one. Yes. Honey. Just like Hmm? Yeah. It's fine. Um, Greg, you haven't picked a color. Why do I need to pick one right here? You're the four. You speak for me already. <laughs> <laughs> I think green would do. Green. Mm -mm. Dara, what do you think? Just pick a color. Green will do. Mm -mm. What do you think? You just pick for me. But you suggested green. Yeah, it, we already have too much of it. How about something colorful? White. Like all white. All white party. It's not an angel's party, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but just, oh, okay, okay, I mean, you're the pro. But I just think that me you know, looking handsome and white would just be... <laughs> I don't like white. I want to be the only one on white. Pro. Um, you know, I, maybe we shouldn't do white. I mean... But then let's still do Mm. Okay, whatever you say. Oh. oh my goodness, what have I? What have I ever done to you? Tell me, what have I done to you, Michael? What? Tell me, please. You know, that's a very rude way to welcome me, you know. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What are all these debits? Huh? Why are there all these debits? Because I know it's you. So please tell me, what have I done to you? What's wrong with you is that it's that why you're raising your voice. Now, why are you going to talk like that? Because I spent your money and that's why you have to talk to me anyway. You like, take your rubbish ATM card. How much did this I even is, spend? This is my work you're toying with. What did you use the money for? Tell me, did you buy something for the house? Did you pay for something important? Why are you raising your voice actually? Why are you being noisy because I spent your money? What's the word with you? How much I even spent for the money? We're making a phone and you talk anyhow. Michael, this are my clients. You have just... What do you expect me to tell them? You know you should be happy that I actually spent your money. How much is there? Then you feel like they talk to you, they talk to me that way, like, see, take your time. I beg you a car rubbish, Jerry, I beg. And don't talk to me anyhow like that again because I spend your money. Take your card. How much? You should be telling me welcome or thanking me and not raising your voice and talking to me anyhow. Scream so the entire neighborhood will hear your voice because I spent your money.
I should have known. I should have known she's the one all along. What are you even saying? We were just having a very good conversation. She look at my face and call me blind. Greg, I'm not talking about the conversation. Then I'm talking about the way you were looking at her romantically and the way you were all flirting with her in my presence. Yes. Yes. Have you no shame? Babe, can you calm down? Hmm? Do you think I'll cheat on you? Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't trust me anymore? I don't. To change on the daily. Because you're overthinking. Babe, calm down now. You know you're actually cuter when you're angry. Hmm? Do you want to stay? You want to stay angry? Do you, do you Who is laughing with you? Leave me. Well, babe, you know. Stay angry now. <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is laughing with you? Beg. You want to laugh with me now? <laughs> Someone be so cruel, inconsiderate, heartless. He wiped my account. Everything. Every penny my clients have deposited towards the cost of their wedding gone. Great deposit gone. How do I explain this? I don't, I don't understand. Like, you gave him the password to your debit card. How? 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 Where is he now? You can't do anything. I can do something because I will get that idiot arrested. Adora, where is he? I didn't ask you to do anything. Just leave him alone. What is going on? What's going on here? Adora, you're protecting this man. He, like, he practically turned you into a punching bag. He steals from you and you're still protecting him. It's what did he do for you? It's my mess. Oh, I will fix it. I'm just talking to you as a friend. I didn't say you should do anything. She's not even taking up her calls. No, we turned them. Who's that? Your wedding planner. <laughs> now she's my wedding planner. She, she could be busy now. Have you thought about that? Busy that she cannot even return her calls. Hmm? Hmm. Let it not be what I'm thinking, no. And what are you thinking? <laughs> Give the girl a break, I beg. Has she ever disappointed you before? Have you called her and she didn't pick up before? So it could be anything. You know, she could be indisposed, she could actually be busy. Think about that now, you're just complaining. So you're actually calling me a nag, right? <laughs> wow. Maybe she's ashamed of flirting with my husband. He's very unprofessional. That is besides the point. Him. That is besides the point. What I'm saying is, think about other people. It's not always about you. Anything could have happened to them. What if she's sick? Have you thought about that? Be sensitive to other people's feelings now. <sighs> wow. It's been your hissing at now. Dude, waiting now. See, but, but sincerely, Greg, with the way you're going, you get yourself into a very dark place that you may not be able to come up with. We were just catching up on old times, nothing serious. See, see, let's just stray with this whole Adora issue. You have a future right in front of you, and this future is with Anna Bell. You understand? I, I don't know. Really, I don't know if I can do this. Like. I feel incomplete without without Dora. Oh really? Have you ever considered how your wife will feel? 
No, have you thought about how she would feel about all this? She's not my wife yet, man. See, bro, sincerely, I can't do this with you. You just need to get your head straight. Get your head straight. I say, I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. Trust me, you do. You know what to do. And you need to do it fast. I lost the 500 Naira deposit. How? Oh, I don't know. I, I just woke up to several debits. I don't even know. I don't know when. I don't know where. I don't know how. I, I don't know who. I just... Did you give your card to someone or something? Well, I... Oh, man. This is four stars. Did you... Did you block your account? Yes. Did I, you tell the police? No, I... Because if you don't block your account, they'll keep coming back. Yeah, I, 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 I blocked it. I just didn't know how to tell you. I, I... Oh, but you should have told me at least. I never be so worried. I'm sorry. I would come tomorrow and I'd, I'd explain things to her. No, that's not necessary. I'll, I'll give you back the money. No, no, no. No, please. I don't need you to give me the money. Dora, it's my mess. I will fix it. I will give you the money. Greg, okay. I said no. It's my problem and I will fix it. I will fix this. Why are you doing this? Like, why do you choose to frustrate a girl who has done nothing but to love you despite your flaws? Why are you doing this? Why are you frustrating this girl? Why? I'm not really going out of your business, you loud mouth that witch. The only time I will leave you is the time you will choose to leave her alone. Oh, yes. You're a shameless thief and a beast. I'm going to ah! your head now. It's the one in the place. You wanted to hit me with this? Michael, try it. You know, this is actually the second time you're trying to do this to me. <laughs> I swear the day you will try it, I swear with my life, the day you will try this, both of us will find out who will fuck the fuck to the hospital. I'm telling you, you're a wicked soul. Like you stole the money a client gave to this girl for her job. Why are you this wicked? Why? What is wrong with you? I don't, I, 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 I didn't take her money. So where did you get that narrative from? Tell that to Adora, not me. Keep lying to her. You cannot do that work. You know you don't have to accuse me wrongly. Oh, you think I didn't see you? I saw you at the mall with those girls. Of course, yes, I saw you. The night. Hey, are you serious? You saw me? Yeah. Okay. Did you tell? Did you tell Adora? She has a lot on her mind right now. And if you tell her it's going on to complicate things and pile up, and I'm not sure we're we not ready for how to do The reason I'm going to go you have to you. Yeah. I'll say you want to go back. Excuse me! I will give you one round. Just to go you to talk. so shameless. Do you want to bribe me to kill my friend? It's not a bribe. I'm just giving you two points. Just take the body and I'll give you. Okay. 
She will never listen. You will never listen at all. She will never listen. What's your problem? What's your problem? Why would you just stay out of my business? What was this? I told you I will find a way. Why are you coming here to harass him? How? How? How do you want to find a way out? Okay, you want to collect money from the bank. You don't have a collateral. The only thing you have is yourself. To think that that's that human being, but I don't want to call you an animal. Is what you are. He tried to bribe me because I saw him with a woman. See? Now it makes sense. See? The only reason he will hide it from me, he will want you to hide it from me, is because he cares. He, he doesn't want to hurt my feelings. I don't know what's going on. What's going on with you? No, I, I, th I think that guy is doing something to you that you don't even understand. Listen, I just want peace. I'm tired of fighting. Okay. I spoke to an old friend. I told him about this and he said he was going to give you the money without a collateral. I'll stand at the door and talk. You don't even have to work. I had to do it. I don't want you to look really stupid in front of your ex, your ex and his fiancé. Just use the money. Fix yourself. Just fix everything. I know you'll be fine. I appreciate you. Okay? I do. But your foot stop. I am both stop. It's me on my head. It's me on my head. <laughs> I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I won't stop. Boy, I'm a mess. Though. I feel like I'm having internal struggles. I'm about to make the most important decision in my life. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm making the right person, you know? Like, is she the right person for me? I'm not sure anymore, man. I don't know. So, Greg, the worry of a lot of Let me go. Why are you to Adora? Adora is my first, my first love. Yeah, we've been through stuff together. She was carrying my child. If that accident didn't happen, by now my child would be like, what, five or six? Boy or girl? So, we've got history together, man. Yeah, I understand all that. But Adora is clearly taking advantage of this situation. Yes. No. <laughs> Adora telling you she lost your money to scammers is a deliberate attempt to no. either steal from you no. or jeopardize your wedding. Trust no. me. Bro, you don't know her. Adora is a straight and narrow as they come. She doesn't lie. She hasn't changed. She didn't offer that money. She refused. Yeah, I offered her the money back. She refused. If not my Annabelle now, she would on. <laughs> now that can spend my money oh, on anything. Oh, oh, oh. You're taking this too far. <laughs> You're taking this too far. You're getting distracted. See, it was just focus on your wedding. Let's finish this wedding. Hmm? I will not allow you to disgrace me or everybody else. Focus on your wedding. I just feel like I'm rushing things, you know? Maybe I should pull back. Greg, you're not rushing anything. Just focus on it. Focus on Annabelle. Forget Adora. Girl! Bibs! You didn't tell yes, me you were coming to last time we spoke. Well, thank you. As I tried to surprise you. Well, as a maid of honor that I am, I decided to just surprise you and help you wrap things up. But then, you don't look happy. You look sad. What's going on? I'm so happy you're here. Like, I'm already going mad. Mad? Yeah. Why would you be going mad? What's, like, your wedding's in a month and you're already going mad. What's going on, please? Tell me, what's okay. going on? I'm fine. It's just my wedding planner. She hasn't been picking up her calls. And Greg feels I should let her be. Let her be? Yeah. No, you don't let such people be. Like, why haven't you arrested her already? That's the thing with these people. So unprofessional. And it's annoying. Listen, girl. You really need to do something about this girl. If not, it's going to end up messing everything up for you. Yeah. Um, just that. I think going to the police is really not the right thing to, to do. I mean, the girl seemed nice. She seemed nice. It's not right to go to the police. 
Babes, listen. The most innocent looking snakes are the most dangerous snakes ever. If you don't do anything to her right, like right away, she's going to end up messing your wedding up. And by the time you realize it, it's too late. Right. Yes, right. <laughs> Convince you to talk to the police about this. This is such a small matter. And like, what is this now without you telling me? It's not small. This is not small. Yes. It's not small. If you cannot pick up my calls on the return, then that girl is a thief. She's not! You don't even know what she's going through. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know if she cannot explain things to me? Amanda, you see her? You have no right. No right whatsoever to have done this. That's what I'm telling you. Mrs. is my money. I can decide to get a second wedding planner. And I told you to be patient. Brad. What is going on between you and this lady? Why do you always defend her? I'm not... I found her. I was the one who brought her to you to be our wedding planner. Because it, what do you always take sides with strangers with Benny? I'm not taking sides with strangers. What I'm saying to you is, you don't just go around calling people thieves. It's wrong. Then at the end of the day, you'll find out that you're wrong in this whole thing. How would you feel? But I want to happen to our wedding. It's my not. We'll find a way around it. We will. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too for yelling, but then... Police? Madam Wendy, I don't know. Is she really good for you as a friend? I'm sorry. It's nothing, please. It's nothing. Just sit. Please. Please. I'd rather not talk about it. Dora. You came here for a reason, right? Please, let's. Dora, tell me what's going on. Please. Nothing is going on. This is just one of the many things that he does. This guy hates you. He does everything to hurt me. You know, if you ask me why am I still with this guy, I, I don't know. But you know me. I don't know how to double date. He pretended like he was there for me. Stayed with me after the accident at the hospital. Was there day, night. Thought I was a good guy. But I guess I was wrong. So why are you still with him? Dora, this is not you. You, I mean, you've moved on. Why are you still with this guy? Maybe I trigger him. Trigger him? I mean, it hits you. This guy's gonna have no, 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 quick, 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 please, you don't want to do this. this. Fine.
happened to you? Stop. Stop. Fine. What in God's name is this? What happened to you? I'm fine. I've got eyes now. Look at Stop. you. Stop. I said I'm fine. Please do get into I said I'm fine. Fight. I'm fine. Greg! Please get ready for work. Greg, did you get into a fight? Right? I, swear, I, I, I didn't, I didn't send anybody to hit you. Water. I promise you, I didn't Not send anybody to hit you. Not only did you have the guts to bring him to this house, but you had the guts to lay stupid hands on me. You didn't mind, but the crazy. Okay, I didn't send anybody to you. about that woman that doesn't sit right with me. Especially the way Greg reacts around her. Sorry, and I, I really don't get it. Are you... Are you saying that maybe he's having an affair with her? It's just a mess suspicion. That may not be right. Listen, girl, there's nothing like that, okay? If you feel or have a hunch that he's cheating on you, then girl, you have to follow it up. Because this could be your spirit trying to communicate something to you. Don't cry. <sighs> this stopped being informed with me. Mindy, if I tell you, I don't even know the last time Greg touched me. He doesn't involve me in his personal life anymore. I'm getting married to this man and I don't even know him enough. Can you believe he returned home yesterday with his t-shirt torn? Like someone who just got out from a fight. What? Yes. The Greg I know is not a violent person. But all of a sudden, he fights. This morning, he just had his back and left. Not even a word from me. Not even a word. I'm just speechless. So, this change started when he met with the wedding planner. You know what? It's fine. It's okay. All right? You were my friend. My best girl. And that means whoever messes with you has me to contend with. Okay? So, I've got you. All right? I don't know what to do. I love Greg. I love him. You know I love him, right? I know. I love him. Okay, listen. But it's alright. You'll be fine. Okay. 
okay? I've got you. Just help me talk to my son, please. He won't come out, he won't talk to me, he won't eat. He's just fixed in that room because he thinks I, I, I sent Greg to beat him up. Greg beat him up, mercilessly. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. Do you know how many painkillers he has taken? Stop. I'm telling you. Okay, I think I need to congratulate Greg. Greg. For what? For giving him the beating of his life. Oh, come on. Tell me, sir. What happened? That's not important. You shouldn't even be laughing. Talk to him. I'm not. Can you just talk to him? He can die there for all I care. Come on. No. Dee. <laughs> <laughs> No, please come in. Who are you? Who are you? Made of honor to the person whose money you stole instead of planning a wedding. What are you talking about? Annabelle! steal from Annabelle. I would never steal from Annabelle. I know it sounds crazy, but I, I was defrauded. I'll never steal from any client. And you couldn't take any of her calls or return them. She's been worried sick that maybe something bad had happened to you. And here you are, living like you're not about to ruin someone's wedding that's in the mud. I just thought it was important that I had everything figured out before I approached her. Really? Annabelle is a darling. I would never do anything to hurt her. Well, so you know that. You know she's kind. And that is why you're doing all these things you're doing to her. I'm sorry. We are sorry. Hey. Listen, you have just one week to make everything right. Trust me, you do not want to see me back here again. Because you will not like what I would do. I apologize. Whatever. There you have it. Parents just barge into your house now. Wait, you don't want me to go in? I'm sorry. Are you hiding me now? Can you not make this difficult, please? I just don't want to make the situation worse. You guys already were in a fight. Like, I don't need to trigger him. Please, I mean, regardless of what happened, he's my man. And I need you to respect him. So I'm the problem now? I'm not saying that, Craig. Please. Just don't oh, want no, to it's fine. I mean, this is what I came to give you anyway. Yeah. So you can complete the job. Greg, 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 Greg. No, please. go back to him. He's your man, right? He keeps beating you. You keep going back to Greg, him. It's fine. Just... it's fine. Greg, I'm sorry. It's not. Okay. I'll call you. Don't call me. Where's your husband? At the office. Office, huh? <laughs> Let's not be what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? 
that he is lying, of course, and that your hunch has been right all along. Are you trying to say there's another woman? I'm not trying to say. I know there's another woman. And guess who the woman is? Your wedding planner. Yes. I tracked her down to her place earlier today. We talked. And when we were done talking, I left. When I was about leaving her place, I saw Greg. Yo, Greg. Pull up at her gate. No. They won't do that to me. I got off the phone with Greg before you left and he told me that he won't be coming for lunch because he had an emergency in the office. Really? Yes. <laughs> he lied, obviously. He is having lunch with the other woman instead of you. And guess what? I saw them hug. It wasn't an ordinary hug. There was this familiarity in the hug. Trust me, it wasn't casual. Greg will never do that to me. No, he won't. He won't do that to me. So you don't believe me? No, like you don't believe your friend. Fine. I'll show you. Just hold on a bit. Do you recognize the man? There's even a video. There you go. Oh, wait. What's in there? How did Greg do this to me? How would Greg do this to me? My, my wedding planner. It's okay. My, my wedding planner. It's. Ba <sighs> hey, 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 hold on. Listen. It's fine. It's okay, okay? Listen, okay? We'll get through it. We'll get through it. And trust me, we're so going to make them pay for this betrayal. But it's okay. Just relax. That's enough. I can't do this. You'll be fine. I can't do it's this. Okay. It's, can't. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Listen, listen. You'll be fine. Okay? You'll be fine. I'm here for you. I am here for you. It's okay. Just stop crying. Greg gave me this. He was here. Mm -hmm. I didn't let him in because of my call. Six million naira. Placement for the money I lost. Let this parasite spoil things for you. Please, you have to tell him to go. Call Greg right now and apologize. He will not pick my call. He makes you feel so. He left him so much anger. Can you just try, please? Because I don't want what happened to my friend to happen again. I don't trust my friend.
Ai. Ok. Let's go now with you. Whew. I knew it. I knew there was something with you and that wooden plan. I knew there was something going on between you two. It was right in my face. But I chose not to believe it because of the love I have for you. Hey, How could you do this to me, Greg? Calm down. I've never cheated on you. Okay. I was at her place. But to give her money to finish the job for the wedding plan. You lie. You a big liar. How is it a lie? So, look at this. Explain this. What were you doing in her house if you have nothing to do with her, Greg? What is this? Is there anything here? There's nothing here. There's nothing there. Everything is wrong with this. Greg, why are you so wicked? Greg, you're so wicked and insensitive. You're wicked. Greg, after everything I've done for you, you're a dog. A very big one at that. Why are you, why are you talking to me this God way? will punish you, Greg. God will punish you. Okay, you know what? After everything, this wedding is on hold. What? I don't even know who I'm getting married. The this wedding, is, you know, Greg. Hey, babe. Please forgive me. Please, I beg you. Please. Find it a place in your heart to actually forgive me. I know I've wronged you. I know this is very difficult for you, but no vex. I beg no reason. I'm anything I don't do. You. I promise to do right this time around. How many more times do I have to forgive you? Ten? Five? A hundred? Just this once. Just one. I beg, just this once, I beg. I promise you I will not fail you. Please. I beg, no vex, no reason now. I beg. And I love you. I'm done. You're what? Done. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You're done? How? You can't never call me that one now. Why? How can you be done just like that? For what? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's because of. It's because of that idiot, your ex, right? What's that stupid name again? Greg. And you think I don't know? I ran a background check on him. And I know that you've been sleeping with him. Oh yes, yeah, so you think I didn't know? I knew all along, but I just, I forgave you. I pretended like nothing was happening. And this was the same thing you were doing, sleeping with different men, all in the name of wedding planning. So now tell me actually, what's the difference between you and hookup girls? And you come to tell me you're done just like that. Man. For what? Get out. Babe, are you serious? Dead serious. Hey, come on now. Come on. Come on. Babe, my beg. No vex. No vex. So... Michael, get out of my house! I said move! Okay, okay. 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 Hey, we're coming along, bro. Everything concerning the wedding. Everything. Call the guys. Why? What happened? Do I know this girl that I'm trying to get married to? Hmm? Okay, yeah, we've been dating for three months, but do I really know her? This is a lifetime commitment. This is what I'm going to get into. Now she's accusing me, always shouting, nagging me. I'm tired. I understand, but that you need to calm down. Okay, so recently now she's accusing me of cheating. That I'm cheating on her with Dora. Okay, yeah, Dora, Dora, Dora is my friend. She's an old friend. We dated, fine. Does that mean I'm cheating on her? Okay. I, I, I can't help my friend anymore. Bro, you, you really need to calm down. You, you need to calm down. This is no matter of calming down. 
if this one is going to happen, not now. It's not going to happen now. Clearly not now. Um, what about the groups now? Call them, or I'll call them myself and I'll tell them. Always nagging me. What is it? He's, he's such a manipulator and a liar. <laughs> With the range I feel right now, I might end up murdering him if I see him. No, I won't do that, okay? You won't do that. It's all right. But I can't believe that he ended things with you because of that woman. Like, this is the height of disrespect. Who does that? You know what? It's fine. You can come live with me, all right? For as long as you want until you're able to get back on your feet. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. He's just he's just unfortunate. Alright? Please do that the same next time. Of course you do. You do. Alright. So is this the only bag you have? Yeah. Are you sure you checked properly to be sure you're leaving that thing with me? Yeah. Alright, please let's go. I'll help you with this, alright? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa, this is heavy. Annabelle. Annabelle, I'm home. Annabelle. Annabelle, I'm home. is gone. <laughs> Alex Alpha. Do you know Annabelle is gone? What do you mean by she's gone? I just came home now. All her things. She's packed everything. She's gone. Yeah, I know I said, okay, wedding on hold, but then why would she just leave? What have I done wrong? What was my offense? Don't worry about me. I will call her. <laughs> I, I don't understand, man. I, I don't know. Calm down. I said I will call her. Whatever the case, I know that my conscience is clear. I didn't do anything wrong. I only helped my ex. Yes, yeah, she's my ex, but it could have been any other person. I would do the same thing. I would help. I just helped. That's all I did. Bro, I don't know, man. You can call her if you want to call her. Anything you want to do, it's okay. Meet her. Messages, I, I got no response. See, Annabelle, you really need to reconsider that decision you made. It's not good to make such decisions out of anger. Greg wasn't cheating on you. I can't. 
and tell you that for, for a fact. He was just helping his ex. He didn't cheat on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Those two were exes? And they lied all the while. They even told me they only met once. They're exes. Those ex. Okay. Alex, let me ask you a question. Alex, do you want to tell me? Do they brand as big as Adora's? She doesn't have a physical office that she only operates online and your friend Craig had the F1 tree to visit her in her house huh um, it was just a harmless visit see you really need to fix your relationship you need to you need to fight for your mom there's nothing to fix Alice and even if there was this revelation has changed everything. I'm done. Kamiya, you guys are almost getting married. Think of the good times. You guys, you guys are in love. You're just going to throw everything to the wind. There's nothing to talk about, Alex. I and Greg are over. Thank you for coming. Oh, you need to take a break. Just, just, just take some time to take a break. Oh, what? A, you think you can hide, right? What are you doing? Oh, you think you've won. What are you doing here? Let us not see the world you for You follow me here. Why not? You think you can just crawl out from the way and you take my woman away from me? After abandoning her for so many years and to do that without a fight. You don't say no fear, I lie, lie. Don't you dare plead, don't you just try and no reason, don't give me that kind of leg. Where my woman is. And very rare, she'll say she's cheating for this house. She's not in her own house. Adora! 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 Where do you think you're that you're shouting? My friend, get out of here! Adora! I'll call security you. Back on the fear now. So I didn't worry. I will call security. Get out. You think you're wrong now, right? I'll come for both of you. Come on, Get me. out. And I won't, I'll have to do, you think you can just make a fool out of me? Okay, get out. Get out, get out, and don't come back. If you know how happy I am that you finally let us meet you. At least I don't have to be shouting again. <laughs> your prayers have worked. <laughs> it's only you. Because you're free. Someone took pictures and sent it to her. What do you want to do? I'm calling her. You want to call her? Of course. It's an obvious mistake. Whoa, whoa. You need to call her immediately. Annabelle, hi. Annabelle, 
I promise you, these pictures. Explain what? To this shameless pretender. So you've been sleeping with my husband all along. Get off my phone. I never hope. What happened? She hung up. I told you. Return their money back for them. We need to fix this. How? What do you mean, how? I should be fixing their marriage, not ruining it. Just refund their money. It's a mistake. I will fix this. This is not about refunding. Do you think there's going to be a wedding after this? They don't listen. Refund them back their I do not want any misconceptions and I'm still waiting for Annabelle to come out. Oh. I'd appreciate it also if you just henceforth let the communication go through your wife to be, please. Dora. You're still very nice. And naive. Remember how we met in school? <laughs> I needed to print my assignment and I asked you for help. You gave me your last card. Starving for the rest of the week. Listen, I'm not here to chit chat. Would you kindly get Annabelle out? You're still very nice. And I see how you don't want to hurt her. But she left me. She left you? Why? Why? Please don't tell me it's because of me. Listen, I, I, will, I can't. Why? Listen, Dora. She needs to know that there's nothing. Greg, Greg, please, I cannot be the cause of another woman's pain. Ever since you walked in through this house, everything changed. Jesus. Everything changed. It's always been you. You've always been by my side. This is not right. Yeah, this happened, but then do I regret it? No. I don't know what you're thinking. Dora. Dora. Yeah, I presume you all the famous Annabelle, Greg's fiance. His ex. Oh. I have nothing to do with that guy anymore. Mm, I see. So what do you want? Go straight to the point and have time. Do you want to do that? That bitch that ruined my life. I don't want to hear her name. You know, she was mine until that, I don't know, whatever it is, you were calling your ex or whatever it is, until you came into her house and even made her pray fast. Why are you telling me all this? Honestly, I'm not interested. And why do you still run after her? I mean, you're hot. And I guess women would. Be tripping for you. You. You think I'm hot? Yes, you are. Oh, I see. You have my number, right? Yeah. Why don't you call me? I will see how it goes. Mm, I love your single part. Yeah. I have a knack for bad boys. Mm. And you look like one. Are you? That was when I called you. When you link up, you get to talk to me to the iPhone 4. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Okay. That sounds great. <laughs> but, Greg, 
You know this life is very funny. Huh? A while ago, we were planning your wedding, thinking of how to shut the city down. Sure. Sure. But now here we are. No wedding. Just what it is, man. Um, have you tried getting in touch with Annabelle? At, at least to beg her. Nope. I'm not gonna beg her for anything. Um, so what's your plan? The plan is to bring the woman that I love into this house. And um, what if she doesn't want you? We'll see. Very funny. Oh, please. It's true. What do you mean? So are you saying I'm always squeezing my face? No, not that, but you see this one is coming from the inside. Okay, now you're just exaggerating. I'm not. I, I'm not. You are. See how, like, like you look really beautiful when you smile. <laughs> <laughs> this girl. But it's true. Oh, my God. I'm just, I can't believe it. I know. This is a goal we have. What is going on? You've been crying since I got in here. <laughs> what? My girls, I've squandered my money. All my expensive clothes and jewelry, they took everything. Jeez, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> like, how? <laughs> he wiped everything in my bank account and he moved to all my dollars. My God, he's gone. He's gone. He's vanished. My God, he's vanished. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my gosh. What do I do? What? What do we do? All my life savings, oh. everything I've worked out for. Have you tried calling him? But his phones are switched off. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 no. Like, I warned you. I really did. I warned you about this guy, but you wouldn't listen. No, he's gone. Everything I've worked hard for. <gasps> everything on my life savings. Everything. What do we do? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What do we do? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't you know. know what? You know what? He couldn't have gone that far. Okay? Okay? We'll track him down. I'm going to get your stuff back. Alright? Did you get me? How come I can't do this It's okay. It's... How come I can't do this to everything right. I've worked so hard for? You like it? I mean, uh, E for effort. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Please sit. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, so yeah, I I wanted to just have a real cozy dinner. You know what I mean? Let me start with the wine. <laughs> then I'll take your order. <laughs> Did you cook this yourself? Oh yes, I did. Oh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't play with me. E for effort, you said. Yeah. But trust me, it's A for effort this time around. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
I know they don't make that much noise, but you know. <laughs> but then. I like this one. You like it? Yeah. What you do? I still, I still remember the things you like, you see? <laughs> Yeah. I just wanted to be with you real quick. Thank you. 